ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and Helga. Welcome to the Q-Force. You have been assembled here because each of you is an expert in your particular field. From Al's mastery of electronics to Skid's nerves of steel hey! to Helga's sensual powers of seduction. Each of you has shown that you are worthy to wear the Q. Years ago, I single-handedly defeated Dr. Nefarious, but like a rash on the galaxy's backside, he has flared up again. Our first mission will be to infiltrate the Doctor's top secret base on planet Aquatos. Impossible, you say? Perhaps for a lesser strategist? Behold, my brilliant plan! First, Ratchet and Clank will descend to the sea floor and wade through a series of tunnels flooded with waist-high raw sewage. What? Please hold your questions until the end of the presentation. After infiltrating the base, our agents will split up. Clank will enter the base's ventilation system where he will locate and deploy this banana-guided autonomous monkey device. Or, the GAMD. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ratchet will use his extensive knowledge of the Tyranoid language and customs to win the trust of the bloodthirsty alien guards. Finally, our agents will make their way to Nefarious's personal office, steal everything that isn't nailed down, and exfiltrate the base completely undetected. That's crazy! But it just might work. Hey everybody, Bandicoot Commando here, and welcome back to Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal. Last time, we went to... Uh, let's see. What did we do again? Okay, so... We went to the Starship Phoenix and we played the Quark vid comic and after completing it, Quark regained his memory of everything that has happened. From there, Sasha told us that at Annihilation Nation, they have something called a Terra guys that will disguise us as a Terranoid. And that's what we did. We went there to win the device. And from there, Sasha states that with Quark's memory returned, we would have to return to the Phoenix, what we which is what we just did, to be honest, to hear what Quark has to say. And, uh, oh, and also I did all the challenges. Well, not all of them, just several of them. So today, we're just going to play the second vid comic, and depending on the time, we could infiltrate Nefarious's underwater base. Maybe. I don't know. But before I, um... Well, first, let me step outside, because... Everyone, everyone in there has funny dialogues. Let me just say, so first off, uh, this is a second recording attempt for this because remember in the last episode I mentioned that there was thunder and lightning going on? If anybody finds a Star Master scientific calculator, please contact Lost and Found. Okay. Anyway, and uh, a power surge happened and I have to re-record this because of it. Now let me go back in. Mostly because there's a skill point we can get. Where is he? Where's the little bugger? Here he comes. There. Helga. Ahem. Tell me the truth. Do I look fat in this? <laughs> I'll turn you into a pencil if you tell me to do that again. <laughs> yeah, everyone has... Each character has dialogue with one another. Just... See, Quark, Ranger, Skid, Sasha, Trooper. Al, and Helga. Redirect power to four deflector screens. Negative. Let's go. Let's go. I can't believe that happened, though. Like, I knew it was snowing hard, and I was hearing the thunder and everything, and, man, I tempt fate. Normally, they'll let you know if they have a new arm. I urgently need to know how the Quark vs. Nefarious vidcomic series ends. When are you going to play your new comic? I'm going to, actually, Al. Let me just see if there's new... There's no new armor. Okay. Just wanted to make sure if there was new armor or not, okay? I can't just go playing video games without doing something else first. Okay, nope. Nothing new. Just the spitting Hydra and... 
my boys of the Agents of Doom. Ratchet, I couldn't help but notice that you aren't wearing your regulation green Q-Force tights. I suggest you get your butt back in uniform before I write you up for a dress code violation. Yeah, I'll take the violation over wearing whatever you have to offer, Cork. All right. So this one, it said, Arriba, ami boy, or ami boy, I don't know. Let's just do this, and depending on the time, yeah, we'll do Nefarious's underwater base. Quark, comic episode two, Arriba Amoeba. A new evil was gathering in the shadowy swamps of Blackwater City. A horrific breed of monsters known as Amoeboids, born in the laboratories of a twisted scientist named Dr. Nefarious. To think they called me insane, Lawrence. We'll see who's insane when my pets have exterminated all life on this miserable planet! Well, that should clear things right up, sir. When Captain Quark encountered the Amoeboids for the first time, he immediately executed emergency response plan number two. Hey, wait just a minute. Quark then proceeded to stall for time while he coordinated the city's defenses from the women's restroom at Galaxy Burger. Give me that thing, you lying, no good. Oof. Right, now where were we? From the moment I touched down, I knew the situation called for a head-on assault. Without hesitation, I rushed to do heroic battle with the monstrous amoeboid horde. His drawings, those are just literally drawings I've done. So, the Amoeboids, these were enemies ever since the first game. Now you know where they come from. Nefarious made them. Oh, and it's these guys again. Just keep... All right, now for the fancy stuff. Press X while I'm in the air near a wall to see my awesome wall kick move. Barbecue time! He didn't say anything. It's a flamethrower, though. Ow! I won't try and go for all the stuff. Not yet, at least, but... If I do, I do. Just be sure to... Whoa. Be sure to check all the little crooks and crannies. To be sure you'll find stuff. Like more tokens or even a health upgrade. That's why I've been jumping off of random walls to see if I can find anything. Careful. I'm saying careful, and yet... I knew that was gonna cost me, but I had to make sure. No, come on. Quark, get up there! Hey! I can hear their hey! Just like their old voices.
Where's that health upgrade at? Maybe I should have hung on to that a little longer. Huh? Oh. Hey. Aha! Thought you can hide that from me, huh? Sorry, I have to find out if that one bit that I... Okay, can't do that. We're almost there. Is there anything down below? <laughs> Look how freakishly huge his head gets when you do that. Okay, it's a bottomless pit. Should have figured. Why are Amiiboibs weak to fire? Faster way to get up is just a wall jump. Yeah, there's the end. I'll get it next time. I'll find the other ten in that health upgrade. At least I get bolts for my efforts. Oh yeah, in later episodes you play, you get uh, more of a reward. Like, the first one you get like 5,000, this one you get 10,000, and so on As and so forth. As army defeated, Dr. Nefarious had no choice but to flee Blackwater City in disgrace. You've not seen the last of me! I will have my vengeance if it takes a thousand years! <laughs> Dr. Nefarious was right about one thing. He and Quark would meet again, and sooner than he realized. For a true hero like Captain Quark will stop at nothing in the name of justice. <coughs> what? I held my breath. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, what time? 17... I guess we can do it. I guess we can. Maybe. Let me see. Does the VR have any new simulations? No. Not at all. None whatsoever. Interesting. Well then. I think better yet, I think I should just stop here. But before I do... You'll sometimes unlock new ship parts and colors as you go on. Like that. I'll get the nice looking ship at the end, though. Alright. That'll do for this episode of Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal. Join me next time, and as long as um, another th power surge doesn't happen, join me next time as we go to... Uh, what's What was it called? Infiltrate the water underwater hideout at Aquados. Um, hold on, let me reread what it said there. If it scrolls back up. Captain Cork's brilliant plan calls for you and Clank to infiltrate Nefarious's hideout. Follow the abandoned water circulation system to get in through a secret entrance. That is it, and I will see you guys next time.